Just words do not mean anything. You can mix thousands of words together, but to add life to these words, you need this secret ingredient called emotion. Kabir spoke a few words, but it is only those emotions that made the whole difference, that added meaning to what he said. Often, I try to look back and think, where did it all begin? Where did this deep connection of me and theatre start? Was it when we brought down theatre to Pune? Or was it when I met these inspirational souls like Baman Irani, Rajat Kapoor? Or was it when I was on stage? Or was it when I started training young kids about theatre? And today, when I was writing what I'm going to be talking to you, I realized it all started here. As a child, I loved doing role plays. I loved acting as a teacher, a doctor, a maid. I loved imitating accents. In fact, I remember we had this uh, uncle of mine who had come from America, American accent, very fascinating. I used to enact and imitate his accent. Everybody at home was very impressed. At least, that's what I want to believe. But I realized there was this deep, deep connect. I love doing these childish games, imitating accents, and just enjoyed the laughter and fun, not knowing, having zero understanding what it's called. Unknowingly, over the year, I realized I got this knack of being in another person's shoe and trying to understand what the other person is thinking. And it really helped me. It helped me become more empathetic. And I'm truly, truly glad that something like this happened to me. The thing with theater is that it just changes you. I mean, it changes you in so many ways you wouldn't even know. In my opinion, there are three ways to experience theater. The first is very obvious, audience. It is a beautiful story unfolding before your eyes. You look at a character performing a scene lost in the story. Those emotions are brought out, are real. And all of a sudden, you realize you are feeling the same emotion. You are taken back to a similar situation where you have felt the same emotion. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Sometimes such emotions bring a smile to your face, and sometimes a tear to your eyelash. It's truly amazing how human emotions resonate with others' emotions. The second experience of theater is when you're on stage. It is a moment of your life. You are not you. You get to live a life that is not yours. You get to feel emotions that are not yours. And yet, you live that character. When the character laughed, you laugh. When the character cries, you cry. I mean, this kind of a feeling is unbelievable. And it is quite tough. It's easier said than done. To actually feel an emotion which is not yours. The journey of developing this ability is a very, very intense one. This process, you will find yourself going through many changes. In fact, it will change you as a person. 
you will start thinking of situations through multiple perspectives. And this is what makes you a beautiful human being. And this is what we call empathy. The third is not so obvious and yet lives in the heart of theater, the backstage. I'm sure when I started talking about theater, everybody thought of drama, acting, plays. I'm not quite sure how many people thought about backstage. Well, if you didn't think about it, that's good enough. That means the backstage team is doing a great job. Backstage and production brings life to theater. It actually makes the situation on theater feel realistic. The props, the costumes, the lights, the sound, managing the artist, crisis management, this is all backstage. And backstage is what makes the setting real for the audience. So three components truly experiencing theater, audience, on stage, and backstage. I ensured I enjoyed all the three experiences. I started as a spectator when I watched a whole lot of theater. Then I got my hands in dabbling with a few local productions. And then finally, when we brought on theater to Pune, we had the chance of doing some production work and involving ourselves backstage. We kept on doing a lot of theater, so much theater so frequently that the name Antrunu and theater was synonymous. So synonymous that after over 20 years later, I'm talking here and on a TEDx platform about theater. In fact, I remember the first play we brought. It was called I'm Not Baji Rao, way back in 1996. A brilliant production directed by Rahul Dekuna, enacted by Bhaman Irani and Sudhir Joshi. This was done in a supper theater format. Now, the name itself suggests it's you watch the play and you cherish your dinner. It was the first time Puna was witnessing a supper theater. We were pretty anxious as to how the response would be. But to our surprise, we were a full house. People enjoyed the whole production. In fact, I remember the play so clearly we did six runs of this particular production, and each show was a roaring success, houseful, and people really enjoyed the production. This supper theater was a life-changing moment in my life. To the extent, even today, I remember that one line in this play, there is, the daughter is throwing out all the old furniture from a home. And the father turns around and tells her, like the old furniture, will you throw me out too? Our first theater encouraged us to bring down some more novel concepts. We brought down the murder mystery dinner theater, a very interesting concept. As an audience in this murder mystery, you play a detective's role. It's over a sit-down dinner, four-course meal, white glove service, silverware, and there are these acts that take place. During one act, there is a murder. And you, as a guest, as an audience, has to get guess who the murderer is. Sounds interesting, right? I was very interested and fascinated by this concept. After doing a whole lot of theater, I realized I need to be on stage also. So I experienced acting theater, acting in all these local plays. Honestly speaking, I did not go all out to reach out for theater. It just happened, it came my way, and I just embraced it. Acting on stage was a liberating experience. I got to experience situations and emotions that were not mine. In the process, I unblocked some barriers of my emotions which I had blocked somewhere. I realized I was not living all my emotions to the fullest. Maybe it was just defense mechanism. I realized that acting on stage opens up 
a lot of your vulnerabilities. You are living emotions that are not yours. You are like trying to live a scenario which is not yours. You are dealing with the pressure of performing well. You are acting against stage fear. And with all this pressure, you create a strong will to perform well so that your show is a great show. Theatre is a beautiful process. It is such a carving process. You enter with self-doubts, cloggy emotions, stage fear and vulnerabilities. You come out of it carved off of your insecurities. You are more confident. You are living your emotions to the fullest. You accept your more vulnerable side and make it yours. I would say it is an overwhelming process. And trust me, when I'm saying this, you wouldn't believe it. I would say experience it. Only then would you know what it is to be in theater. Knowing the power of theater, I was looking at ways as to how I can pass this treasure which I had collected. I wanted to share it with somebody. In the past, we had done a lot of drama workshops with some renowned drama therapist. I was pretty involved with those workshops. So I decided to self-train myself and conduct these drama workshops. When I did these drama workshops, the idea was not only to teach the students to act well. Besides this, I got them to ideate when it came to the sets. I got them to make their own props, their costumes, took them on the light and sound console. I wanted to inspire them, get them to appreciate theater. We took them backstage when we brought on productions to Pune, got them to take a peep as to what all goes into backstage, what needs to be done for an actor to perform on stage. I tried to make them live their emotions to the fullest. I wanted them to become better human beings, to understand empathy, and most of all, I really wanted them to stay connected with their inner side. In a world where it is so easy to lose yourself. These drama workshops have been an integral part of us. Antrunu has diversified, but the drama workshops still survive under the vertical nurturing talent. We have a program called Antrunu's Event Management Program where we nurture event management talent using drama techniques and drama tools. The drama workshops for kids as well as adults still continue to be. As I come to the end of my talk, I want to leave you with one and only one takeaway, experience theater. If you haven't watched a play, go watch one. If you haven't been involved backstage, get yourself involved. If you haven't acted on stage, if you ever get the opportunity, grab it. Trust me when I'm saying this, it will just change you as a person. What you will experience cannot be told or I cannot share it in words. You will just become a new person. You will just discover yourself in a very different way. You will realize that theater resides within you more than outside of you. I repeat, watch a play, get yourself involved backstage, be on, the, be on the stage. You have to experience it all with all your senses open, taking everything in. I say it, it will change your life. It changed mine. On a closing note, I would like all of you to close your eyes just for a moment. And think of the happiest moment of your life. Visualize it, cherish it, live it. Now open your eyes. Do you see a reflection of your smile on your friend's face? This is how emotions resonate. Thank you.